I, uh, I love the women here in Southern California. I love the women in LA. I have no idea how to talk to them. I, uh, I just don't have that approach down, you know what I mean? Like I can see an attractive woman across the room, but then I don't know how to do the whole, hey, how are you, what do you do with that? Well, I mean, I wouldn't do that. I look like some sort of ghetto pirate, like, ah, hey, I. But you know, I don't, have the, uh, I don't have the approach. And everyone says, well, ask a woman questions, get her talking about herself. But when you're just some random dude, you know, like anytime I just start asking a woman, I don't know questions, it very, yeah, it very easily takes that weird turn down creepyville, you know? Yeah, because I can be like, hey, how you doing, what's your name? Oh, cool, do you live around here? Oh, right on, do you live alone? <laughs> Do all your doors lock from the inside? Even that side door, the green one with the crack in it? You look pretty on that treadmill the other night. I'll meet you later. You know, and that's restraining order. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Plus, I've run out of places to meet women. I don't know where, to, like I was in the bank, and uh, in the bank, and made the mistake of trying to ask out the teller. Which, yeah, horrible idea. You can't really ask out a woman who knows you only have $11.32 in the bank. You, you know, oh, dinner and a movie. Ooh, you're overdrawn, get the hell away. I don't wanna go to the drive-in, get out, get out. I went on a blind date not too long ago, and, well, translation, internet date. Uh, let's call it what it is. Uh, I don't, but uh, her complaint about me, her complaint, she said I was too much of a smart ass. Which is a dumb thing to say. I, I did, it was just stupid conversation we were having. You ever have a conversation with someone and you, you have no choice but to respond in sort of a, like a smart ass kind of way? You know, like at one point, for whatever reason, we were talking about our fears. This woman actually said these words. She goes, yeah, you know, I've always had this fear of public speaking and the Incredible Hulk. What? <laughs> yeah, which is when I had that moment, you know, where you have that on the date where you're like, oh, you're insane. Like, you know, that. But before I could think of anything halfway polite to say, what just flies out of my mouth is, oh, I know what you mean. I've always been afraid of snakes and the Hamburglar. <laughs> Date over. Same conversation, same conversation, and I swear to you, this girl said this. And again, I don't know how we get on this topic. I know it's weird for a first date. Don't judge me, whatever. But <laughs> we were talking about the Civil War. <laughs> I know, shut up. And uh, but, so I said, you know, whatever it was I was talking about, you know, blah, 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 civil war. Her response to that was, I swear to you, she goes, you know, whatever happened with that anyway? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not the D-bag, right? What do you, how do you even respond to something like that? You know, like, hey, I'm kind of hazy on the details, but I think the North took that one. Uh, I don't know, nobody owns me, as far as I know. Uh, oh. Yeah. Check your money. If you have the big dollar bills with Lee on it, then we're screwed and I gotta get back to the cotton, so finish up your latte. <laughs> There's plowing to be done. <laughs> Here's the other weird thing, thing too that I'm starting to face, and I don't know what this is, why this has started, but I feel like a lot of the women I've been dating lately, uh, I feel like they all wanna be dating thugs. Which, yeah, you know, I'm a black guy, but you know, I'm not that black guy, you know? I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> for one thing, I got this voice, which jacks up the whole package right there. I got the, yeah, I know you can tell, I got the, uh, got the black white guy voice. The, uh, the, hey, how are you? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Hey, Nancy, how's the chrysanthemums coming in? <laughs> yeah, that's me. I, know, I could tell, as soon as they started talking, a lot of you were like, wait a minute, his lips are moving, where the hell's that voice coming from? What's going on? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> That's my confused white guy. What's going on in here? I can't see. Who's in here? Can I get some water? What's going on? <laughs> Especially with the light skin, too. People are always like, hey, are you mixed? And I'm not. And I don't even mind people asking. But it's the way people ask. Like, I got this the other day. No, no you're not full black. Are you full? <laughs> Yeah, they're always really careful, like, ah, you don't want to get shot. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to full black. No, I'm part Shih Tzu, actually. That's, you know, what? I'm gonna just pee on his leg and run the hell away. But it's my voice at 2 a.m. I like her. Like, a lot of black folks complain about things like, what, like the police never come when we call them, you know, stuff like that in our neighborhoods, right? Not me. This voice is like having a Visa Platinum identity. 
<laughs> in fact, a lot of my black friends call me to call the police for the... <laughs> Well, it works, you know. 911, what's your emergency? Well, we have got a fiasco down here. I oh, oh, it's bonkers. Get down here, lickety split. Lickety split, officers. Yeah. Yeah. And when you say lickety split, the cops will show up. Uh, and of course, I'm the one who gets arrested, and that sucks, but, uh, you know. I just want to be a harder brother, you know, I want to be more, you know, but that's not gonna happen. Look at me, I went to Catholic school, you know? I, I watched Charmed, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> Plus, I grew up around a lot of white people. So now as a result of that, little things in me have started to change. Like lately, I've started to get nervous around certain black people. <laughs> yeah, see, just like white people get nervous around certain black people, it's happening to me now too. I was at a nightclub, this was in the hood recently, right? I walked in, I actually heard myself say, my God, they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. That's inappropriate. That's inappropriate. Yeah, I can't blend into the hood. Me trying to blend into the hood is like C-3PO at a Wu-Tang rap show. Just don't mind. It's just a ghetto. Please, where's Master Luke? I don't know why I did that, but... The other weird thing, too, being a black entertainer and having this voice and this look, it's always weird because, you know, a lot of us, we do the acting thing as well, so I go in these auditions, and what I realize is a lot of times when people are looking to cast a black guy in their movie or TV show, they're really looking for a black guy, you know? Yeah, like the very first audition I went in Hollywood, I'll never forget this. The role was for a thug. A thug, yeah, and not a thug like, you know, nah, see, but, you know, like... <laughs> you know, like a thug. Like real. So if you go, okay, I'll sag the jeans, try to G it up, try, you know, I'll act, right? Except I show up at the audition, 50 other dudes there, not acting. <laughs> yeah, and me with the freckles and the light scan, I just showed up, I might as well have just been there with like a, a top hat and a cane and a monocle, like, hello, gentlemen, how are you? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I'm Kevin Avery, I'm here to read for the part of the hooligan. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, 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 bitches ain't nothing but hoes and tricks. And scene. And don't get me wrong, I could play a thug. It, it would just sort of have to be in some kind of theatrical, you know, sharks versus jets kind of a, you know, like on Broadway, whatever they could do, you know, thugs, the musical, you know, that would be dope, right? You know, like, car in neutral, turn out the lights, bust a cap, it's a drive by, you know? Right? <laughs> You know, whole chorus line, oh, who's that keeping it real? It's me, it's who, it's we, ooh-wee, hi-fee! <laughs> Thank you very much, I'm Kevin Avery.